Hi there and welcome back my ADV riding friends out there. Today I will talk about the latest updates on my bike and that will be a new luggage rack and uh, tie downs and also a upper clamp uh, bracket with the MPAS system as well. But first I just came back from a really cool festival out there. I was in Latvia with my friend Thomas and we were at the Outdoor Scout Festival just north of Ventspils in Latvia and we had a blast. And when I come back home I had a package uh, that just had arrived so I just jumped on that immediately. So, so excuse me if my bike uh, looks like it has been ridden. I have not cleaned it yet. I just had to put these parts on uh, immediately because I was so curious how it will fit with my Moscomoto R80 system and so on. As some of you know, I've been riding five seasons with the stock rear rack that uh, comes on the 790 and uh, 890 for the matter for now. Uh, and I've been fine with that actually, but I've been thinking about getting a large rack, so I thought the Perun billet uh, large rack could be suitable. I know that the small rack looks a little bit more tidy on the bike and so tight. Uh, but I will explain because I will test this rack with both the R80 as you see right now. But I will also test this with my backcountry 40 duffel. So you can see because that was also one of the reasons why I want a large rack because the original rack was a little bit too small and too not too many uh, attaching points for, for some extra bags or different bags. The R80 system is so nice because it's just lay on the bike and fits any bike with or without rack and so on as long as you can fasten it uh, somewhere in the rear and in the front. I will uh, you will see this in details, of course. So what I did when I uh, looked into this to get a new rack, I did some research and looked at the internet and saw a lot of different racks. Uh, I had some discussions and so on with some suppliers, but uh, I reached out to Perun Moto uh, this time, uh, had some questions about the rack and the other stuff they had. and. Uh, Immediate response and the personal contact with Nicola at uh, Perun Moto that made me think that get your focus for your bike or what you need to our own suppliers within the ADV community, those small manufacturers that have developed parts for their bikes uh, because they are adventure riders as well. Uh, with that personal contact that made me think that this is the way to go. So consider that for you as well. All right, let's rip that R80 system off and have a look at the pieces, okay? All, right. All straps are loosened. Just take a real grab and lift it off like this. This is how easy you lift off the system. Okay, so here we have the nice Perun billet rack, large one. It is a lot of opportunities to fasten things on the sides. In the far front you have extra slots. It is also prepared for the Rotopax fuel system or can system, whatever you want in it. It's a lot of opportunities that you see on this. It's really, really nice. You can fit it with or without the grab handles that come original on the bike. I didn't use it at my original rear rack. Won't use it now either. So, it looks a little bit bulkier than the smaller one that only covers the fender actually. But I think this will be really, really good if I only will ride with the backcountry duffel as well. The next part I opted for was these uh, rear tie downs that replace the rear foot pegs, the whole assembly actually that is rather big. So the weight I added for the rear rack I saved on my foot peg assemblies. So these tie downs uh, is just mounted where the 
foot pegs should be. Really nice, and I think that actually got a better look on the bike. Without though, the bike looks more clean, a little bit more off-roady, so to speak, when these uh, foot pegs are disassembled. What you actually need to do to assemble these two, it was a very easy process. Uh, just with the rack, uh, you had everything in the packet that you need to assemble this. What you needed to do is to remove your exhaust, just loosen this clamp, loosen that one, and just pull it off to access this one. On the other side, it was easy peasy. I think this one looks really, really nice. The only downside is that the actual foot pegs could do some protection for the exhaust. And the last part I opted for was this uh, upper clamp with the AMPS system to bolt on uh, different kind of stuff. It's a standard. Uh, I use actually this ram mount for the Garmin and put a short arm on it and my wireless cord lock fastener for my phone here. Uh, lot better because I had the clamp over here with a long arm before so I could move it around and I think this is a lot more tidy up uh, mounting for the phone and the charger. Uh, I like it a lot. Wasn't really into this from the beginning but Perun Moto guys over there they just got me into it. Great guys. So this is the part that I have assembled on the bike. So this was the parts from Peron Moto that I got on my bike, latest updates. Uh, I think it looks like really quality stuff from them. Here you can see when I lift on the R8 system that I use the, the mid slots, three of them, uh, at this rack because I want it in this position. It does not only fit on the bike very nicely, it also make me get some extra space on this rear rack uh, if I need something extra I don't know fuel my tripod or whatever always good to have some extra space here even if you need it or not you may you never know so this complements the R80 system really really nice I'll also show you where I bind up the excess of these three rear straps. It's a really nice system. You have, uh, you can just wind it up and put it under these velcros, and they get, and then holds up. Uh, works really, really great. If you would like to, there is actually an item from Moscow Moto that is called the Noblin as well, and that is a mechanical system is instead of straps. It's one mechanical system here with a connector that you fit one part of the R80 system and one on the plate. For example, I think it could fit there in that hole. And then you just slide that on the complete system and it stays really, really stable instead of using three straps. I don't have that Noblin yet, but I may actually get it now when I have the, the rack. In the front end, my tip is to do like this. I will show you. I start with going under and up with this. So I get the Velcro strap here. Then I go down in the middle and up in the slot before for the front okay you see like that then I go up to the buckle tighten it up and to wind it up now I will get with the tip after this I wind it like this okay and like that and then I just velcro this strap like this i really don't like this because it was uh, easier to do it on the foot pegs to wind up the excess and then just have um, uh, the right amount to loop it through the buckle uh, but the solution to this is just to cut this strap to the correct length so you can't lose it and wind it up in the wheel 
because that could be a disaster and you destroy st stuff. This uh, part is actually replaceable, so I can just cut it off into the length I want just to be able to strap it and have the minimum part to be velcroed there. Okay, so this is how I fasten it. Another thing that is good to know is that this is the version 3 of the Reckless 80, the revolver, which you can adjust the angle on this lower part of the luggage. I had it in setting number 2. I know some use it in the setting number 3. That means it goes a little bit this way. But I actually kept it in position 2 because I saw that it fits perfect in the front end. So I didn't need to adjust that. So setting 2 at the 790 or 890 with the Reckless 80 and the Perun rack and the tie down. Uh, that fits for me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how the backcountry 40 Duffel from Oscar Motor also fit to this Perun rack, which was really part of uh, why I think I needed an upgrade for the rear rack. Okay. Right, so here we have the Duffel. Oh, I have used it as a backpack. Let's fix that first. So there we have it. This is how the backcountry 40 duffel looks on the 890R and the Perun Moto large rack. I just used the forward loops on the rack for these uh, rook straps. And in the rear I actually used the side ones in the rear end. I think that was better than to fit them here. I could do that as well. This is how it looks. On the bike. I'm not actually sure if I like the rook straps for this kind of setup. I have other straps as well, of course, that that do not have this tension part of it. But the nice thing to strap uh, down this duffel forty on the rack is that uh, you have this beaver tail, this kind of duffel. That means you could stuff your jacket or a lot of stuff under here, uh, even your your tripod and uh, yeah whatever your documents. I used to have a necessar there as well uh, or tent poles stuff like that. But this is the straps just is here and you could reach everything you need in the bag from both ends because you have the openings in this end. And the other end as well and it's, as you saw it works like a backpack as well so it's a really good system to just strap on the rear on the bike one other cool thing is that uh, with this rack it's a lot easier to combine this backcountry duffel the 40 or 30 together with the r80 system if you don't want the 22 liter stinger Actually, if you have seen my videos from last year, Norwegian trip, I used that combo. The R80 system side bags with this one as top instead of the Stinger. So here we have it packed along the bike instead. Well, let's have a look. It sits really good in that direction actually, doesn't it? Huh? Well, the cool this is probably my favorite setup for from these non-camping tours or very light camping tours just one bag this was it guys pretty nice stuff isn't it please comment what do you think about this gear and especially where to get your stuff from out there thanks to perun for your expert tips and your support see you out there on the next adventure